exact cast, we are dealing with nothing like that here. I mean, it was just absolutely gorgeous. All weekend and today. We I know, so we deserved yeah. it. <laughs> but you know what? Remember all of that rain we had last week? Well, that caused some of our rivers to rise. And the Pearl River is actually has has a flood warning posted for it. We can check it out in our exact 3D. There you can see that bright green. That's where we have a flood warning in effect for the Pearl River. And that's just for minor flooding, which is great news. But the truth is, we just have some high level clouds across the area right now. It is looking great. High pressure in the Gulf. We've got this southwest flow. That's why we were kind of warm today. High temperatures were in the low 80s to even the mid 80s over towards autumn. And it wasn't a record. We are watching this upper level low that's over Baja, California, an upper level high that's over the Gulf of Mexico. Over time, that upper level high is going to pick up some of that moisture and bring it to the north, heading it over towards Louisiana. Though that heavier rain looks like it's going to stay to our north. So, as we look at our forecast model, there's the high in the Gulf. Here comes a cold front that's going to be getting close. An isolated shower is possible to our west mainly tomorrow. High temperatures will be near 80 to the low 80s. Then this front is actually going to get into the neighborhood for Wednesday. High temperatures will be in the mid-70s. Then it moves back to the north as a warm front. There we are looking at your Wednesday with a higher chance of rain. I'm going with a 40% chance. I've kind of backed off on that rainfall chance. Then as we go into Thursday, we still have the potential for some rain with that front kind of hanging out. The truth is we'll have some showers off and on all the way through the weekend. The exception is really tomorrow. High temperature today, 82 degrees. It was just a great day. I had a tweet from somebody saying, should I put up all my winter clothes now? No. Look at this. The previous record low for today, 38. And we actually had a freezing temperature of 32 degrees on April 8th back in 1971. So it's still possible to get these cool temperatures all the way into April. High temperatures today ranged from the upper 70s to the mid 80s. I mean, it was such a great day, and I had incredible sunrises and sunsets. This is sunrise from Lakeview. And then look at this sunset from David Moore. Is that not beautiful? And Homa from Ken Livingston. There were so many, and it was because of the high clouds that caused it. Brightonson in that one. Madisonville from Ty Alexander. Metairie, we had New Orleans Mom Blog, which I really like. And then you can see in New Orleans, Hattie sent it in because she heard me say it on the air to send in a twit pic. And this beautiful one from Jay Vise, he says there's a dragon out there. Could you see it? Anyway, we can check out our temperatures now and notice how they haven't dropped all across the area. That's because of the southerly flow. I don't see a big drop overnight. We'll basically be in the low, maybe the mid 60s. Your high temperatures tomorrow are going to be near 80 degrees. So for the downtown Irish Club, 77 degrees, 9 o'clock low 70s, and you know they kind of meander through Bywater and into the French Quarter. It's so much fun. Here we are, three tomorrow afternoon, about 79. Wednesday rain chances, Thursday rain chances. Even on Friday, there is that chance. That's when spring arrives. Saturday and Sunday, you've got a shot at some rain, too. Don't blame me. I'm just the messenger, but tomorrow, Irish eyes will be smiling.